Hi, good evening students. I think all are fine and safe at home. Today I would like to start with my 9th standard mathematics class chapters. As I discussed in the introduction class, there are 7 chapters students in part 1 textbook. I would like to start with one of the easiest chapter among those 7 chapters. So that is chapter number 3rd one, coordinate geometry. As we all know, we can divide mathematics into three different groups. One is algebra, next one geometry and first one it should be, it is arithmetic. Arithmetic, algebra, geometry. Arithmetic means we can play with only number students. Means 9, 8, 10, 7, such numbers. They may give certain equations or some other concepts, but main concept, arithmetic part completely depends on only numbers. Next one is algebra. Algebra means what, sir? Algebra means it is a branch of mathematics. Here we can deal with both the numbers as well as variable. This is nothing but algebraic part. It consists of both the number as well as some letters students. Letters means variable. You can change it. Varies. It varies. 10x. Other child can write 10y also. This is nothing but algebraic part. Next let us move towards geometry. Geometry means it is a branch of mathematics. Here we can solve some figures such as geometrical figures students like line segment or quadrilateral triangle pentagon different types of geometrical figures one of the important concept in geometry that is nothing but circle here you have one concept that is coordinate geometry geometry means here we can solve some geometrical figures Similarly, we know that one of the simple and basic geometrical figure is rectangle students. This rectangle. Uh, one question they may ask like this. Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 3 unit and breadth is 2 units. How we can find out the length area of rectangle means it should be L into B. All are familiar with this particular uh, identity or formula. Area of a rectangle. It was in 7th standard textbook. Area of a rectangle A is equal to L into B. L into B. Length into breadth means 3 into 2. Answer is 6 square units. This is actually geometry. Here we can find out the area, perimeter, length of a line segment, volume of certain geometrical figures. 2D figure means only area and perimeter students. 3D figures, 3D means how it will be? This is nothing but 3D figures. 2D figures means length and breadth. So yeah, length and breadth. 3D figure means it consists one more dimension that is length into breadth into height. This is nothing but 3D. Three dimensions. 2D means only two dimensions. Here in this uh, object we can fill certain things. Therefore here they may ask one question. Find the volume. Find the area. Find the length of one side. This is nothing but 3D figure. As we discussed earlier, area of a rectangle L into B is equal to, we got 6 units. That is by using formula students. And one more question they may ask like based on the same figure A, B, C, D, 3 and 2. Find the perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter that is nothing but boundary. There is a formula 2 into L plus B. 2 into L is equal to 3 plus 2. 2 into 3 plus 2 is 5. Perimeter P is equal to 10 units. 
This is actually perimeter of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle formula length into breadth. Similarly, we can solve the same concept using graph sheet students. Graph sheet, it will be like this. It consists of two axes, one is x-axis and y-axis. The point where x-axis and y-axis intersect, that particular point is nothing but zero. It is denoted by zero, but actually that particular point is called origin. From this particular point, you have to produce four lines. One is towards right, other one towards left, upwards and downwards. It should be perpendicular to each other, students. Perpendicular means angle, it should be 90 degree. Yes. Here, first point, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I are one. Let us extend this particular line. One, two, one. Here, you can write numbers, students. Right side always positive number. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. Here also, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2. Here, one particular section between 0 and 1 minus, that is actually 1 centimeter. 1 to 2 distance 1 centimeter. Between 3 and 4 minus, this particular gap is nothing but one centimeter. You can take one graph sheet, students. If you measure, it will be exactly one centimeter. Next, let us consider the same geometrical figure. Here, I would like to place that particular geometrical figure. What we had taken earlier. Same geometrical figure I would like to place. See here, students. Same geometrical figure. What is this? This is actually a rectangle. See here, A, first box, second box. Here there are how many units? One, two, three units. Here only two units. Let us draw few squares. See here, students. They may ask one question. Find the area of the rectangle, the area that is nothing but inner part, or the area where you can paint some, something. This is actually called the area of rectangle. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square. Therefore, area of rectangle is equal to 6 square units. 6 square units. This is actually area of square. Here, we didn't use any formulas. Based on certain geometrical concept, we got the answer. Similarly, you can find out perimeter also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is nothing but perimeter. Perimeter is nothing but boundary. Your property boundary you can measure using certain instruments. Similarly, the boundary is nothing but perimeter students. Perimeter 10 units. Using formula also we got 10 units. Here your area of rectangle is 10 units. Area of rectangle, uh, 6 units. In the previous example also, area of square, using formula, we got 6 units. Therefore, what is meant by coordinate geometry? It is a branch of mathematics. It is a branch of mathematics. Here we can solve some geometrical concepts using coordinate system. Using coordinate system is called coordinate Geometry. Coordinate system means graph. Clear students? Once again, I'll repeat my statement. Coordinate geometry means it is a branch of mathematics. Here we can solve some geometrical concepts using coordinate geometry or coordinate system. It's called coordinate geometry. Is it clear? It is a branch of mathematics. Here we can solve some geometrical concept using coordinate system is called coordinate geometry. Is it clear students? This is actually first definition for coordinate geometry. You should write in your note first heading it should be in capital letters then you can write side heading coordinate geometry please note down it is a branch of mathematics here we can solve some geometrical concepts using 
coordinate system inside the bracket you can write graph thank you students